Oh, we're doing bloods. We've got a chicken that's in congestive heart failure. We're yes. checking the potassium because the potassium level has been going really low. Because it's on a diuretic, furosemide. And anyone who's watching who's got heart issues will know that it's a potassium sparing diuretic. And if the spirit's potassium gets really low, it gets to the twos. So we're able to run an entire profile of 0.05, sorry, 0.1, a tenth of a mil of blood. Yeah. So we're running, we're running bloods on a chicken with heart failure. So how long does it take you to get results for something like that then? Results take approximately seven minutes, so it's not too long. My owner's waiting. And we, we've already started supplementing potassium. We're probably going to do quite a part of potassium yeah. supplementation. So who would have thought a chicken getting hundreds of dollars a month for heart meds, just like people or dogs have potassium issues because of the drugs, specifically the diuretic, because the chicken's battling to breathe, because the heart's not pumping blood and the lungs are congesting. So on the meds, it's going well. The chicken's been on treatment for approximately 18 months, so everything we're doing is working. What you want? And this is just right. We've just we've been treating this bird. I actually made a mistake. It's nearly three and a half years. The pulse is super slow. You know, we've had chickens earlier today with pulse for four, three hundreds. Typical. This little guy's was 60 this morning, and it's irregular. But he's on Pimo Bendan. A lot of you cardio show if you've got dogs or cats with heart failure. Um, we tried to digitalize digoxin to stabilize the heart, but that actually didn't work. It didn't seem to be the right drug. Many of you will be asking, why have we done a scan? We've done a scan. It didn't give us all the results we wanted. We've done an echo as well, um, an ECG as well. But um, we've got an amazing owner because what's happening is that as long as Sarah gets her meds regularly, twice a day, she copes really well. Eating, active, and we've just had this potassium issue, but uh, what can you tell us, Sarah? And you can actually see it's been getting met so that just like the owner this is a really calm beautiful bird it's so used to being handled and so used to being treated that um you know this stethoscope measures the pulse and when i put it on the snout with 66 which is super super low for a chicken but uh we've got a calm what's normal roughly for a chicken two to three hundred would be would be, would be normal you see it might be a little bit less depending Birds have incredibly high pulses. Um, we had another chicken this morning, also with heart disease. And I couldn't, the, the heart was over 400. It was just so too fast to count. But um, so we're very happy with the results. And and and, and uh, people aren't aware that chickens get you know diseases like everyone else. Very good results.